do your pull-ups look like this? Then stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to use resistance bands to get your first pull-ups and then build the strength that you need to be able to do body weight pull-ups on your own. All right, first things first, let's talk about pull-up grip. So there's all different kinds of bars out on the market, uh, ranging from you know just a straight bar to something like this that I have with you know the angles and a couple of different features on it for, for you know more advanced grips. But ultimately, there's a few different grips that you can do on just about any pull-up bar, and I'll kind of walk through those right now. So the, the first one is a wide grip. So this is beyond shoulder width apart. And when you do this kind of a pull-up, you're gonna be targeting a lot more of these lat muscles down here and you're not going to have as much leverage with your other muscle groups, so this is gonna be the most challenging way to do a pull-up with an overhand grip, and they're, they're wider than shoulder width. The next most common one is probably going to be just like a shoulder width grip overhand. That's like your conventional pull-up. Now this is going to bring in more bicep muscles as well as the lats and some upper back muscles, and you're also gonna feel the biceps get engaged a lot more. And then the least challenging of the, the most common grips is going to be your chin up grip or your underhand grip where you grip the bar, palms facing towards you, and then you're just gonna pull yourself up, get your chin up over that bar. And what you can see here is with that underhand grip, I'm gonna get a lot more bicep involvement so I can use my biceps as well as my back muscles to kind of pull me up and that kind of typically makes it an easier pull up or chin up to do. So no matter what grip you choose, the hardest part is going to be pulling your entire body weight up and executing this pull up properly. And to get started, what you can do is use a 41 inch loop style resistance band to subtract some of your body weight and give you some help so that you can execute these reps properly and build up strength. So the most common question we get is what band do I need to get started? We recommend using a band that will give about 30 to 50% of your body weight in resistance. And if you head over to clenchfitness.com, you can see our bands, we publish a range of resistance. And what you wanna look at is the low number in that range. For example, this purple band has a range of 50 to 100 pounds of resistance and the low number in that range is 50 pounds. So if I was a 100 pound person and I took 50% of that, which is 50 pounds, this band would line up perfectly with what I need to get started. Obviously, everybody's going to be a little bit different, which is why we recommend somewhere between 30 to 50% because everyone's upper body strength and their strength to weight ratio is gonna be a little bit different, but typically in that range, what we're shooting for is so that you can get around 12 to 15 good quality pull-up reps with your first band. The three most common sizes that we sell are purple, inch and an eighth, green, inch and three quarter wide, and blue, two inch wide bands. And the wider the band gets, the more assistance or the easier it's going to make your pull-up. So the blue band is gonna be the easiest pull-up, purple band will be the more difficult pull-up. So to set these up, it's super easy. You've got your pull-up bar, got your 41 inch band, just wrap it around and tie a slip knot and then you cinch it right up nice and tight. And now you can attach this band to yourself a couple of different ways. If you have a short pull-up bar like I do, or I'm basically standing, I kind of need to pick up my legs, I can put this right around my knee and hook it in. Also, so this will give you the least amount of assistance because you're not stretching the band very far, but you'll still get assistance, obviously. So that made my pull-ups nice and easy. It's just that simple. And then if you want more assistance or your pull-up bar is taller, you can stretch it down low and step right into it. And now you're gonna get more assistance because you've stretched the band even further. And now you can just step right into your pull-up bar and crank out some reps. If you need to use a bigger band, you're gonna notice that it's, it's going to be a lot more difficult to stretch this thing down and get it into position. Um, what you can do, you can either use a partner or someone to help you get into it and, and wrap it around your knee, or you can break it down and use two smaller bands. So for instance, this is a two inch wide band. I could use two purple bands and you can see that they're, it, it, it basically equals 
the width of the blue band. So I can use two purple bands and get the same assistance as I could with the blue band. So now I can take my two bands instead of one big heavy band and hook up one at a time to my knee. And this makes it a lot easier to get into it, but still get the assistance that you need if you need a big band. So now that you know how to use bands to assist you and make it so that you can do pull-ups, how do we progress and build strength so that eventually you can do pull-ups without bands? So what I would recommend is throwing in a pull-up workout at least once a week. And in that workout, we're gonna do around three to four sets of pull-ups and we're going to change our band resistance throughout these three sets so that we can work down in assistance and work up in your own body strength. So for this first set, I want you to grab yourself a band that you can do roughly you know, 10 to 15 reps comfortably on pull-ups. This will be like a warm-up set. I'm gonna grab a blue band, set this thing up, and I wanna comfortably do you know, 10 to 15 reps Nice and controlled to get the movement pattern going, get your muscles firing and warmed up. And then we're gonna jump into our second set. Now for set two, we're gonna decrease our band tension and now we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna target somewhere around that six to 10 rep range. You should notice it's more difficult keeping it nice and slow and controlled and engaging all those muscles during the set. For my last set, I'm gonna drop the band tension down even more and we're gonna be targeting three to five reps. And now this is your working set. I want these reps to be very, very difficult. Like you might not even get to five reps, I, but I want you to be able to feel more tension in your muscles and this is where the strength is built. So you're gonna be targeting three to five Nice, slow, and controlled reps with a big squeeze at the top. And make sure you're letting yourself all the way down with a little pause at the bottom. And these are the strength building reps. So you can take this routine and implement it at least once a week, if not two to three times a week. The more you do them, the faster your results are gonna come. Every week, you should be trying, or every time you do this routine, you should be trying to beat what you did last time. Whether it's adding one to two more reps to your top couple of sets, or dropping that resistance band down less than what you did last week. But eventually, you should get down to that top set where you have no band at all, and you're able to start cranking out reps with your own body weight. So for my final tip, and, and more of guidance on this, if you wanna get better at pull-ups, you have to build strength. And ultimately, that strength has to be built in your back, in your biceps, in your forearms, and in your grip strength. So you can incorporate other strength training exercises like lat pull downs, bent over rows, other rowing maneuvers, bicep curls, deadlifts, things like that that are going to work those muscles and make sure that you're going heavy in those exercises because at the end of the day, you need to build up a significant amount of strength to be able to do body weight pull ups. All right, so that was a lot that we covered. Hopefully that you learned something and that you're able to implement this into your pull-up training routine. If we missed anything or if you have any questions, please drop it down in the comments below. We're happy to answer it. And also, if you found this video to be useful, be sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see more content on how to get better in your workouts, be sure to subscribe to this channel. It helps us to grow, it helps you to grow. And also, if you need any resistance bands, please head over to clenchfitness.com and thanks for watching.